We just love the world of Pandora and Avatar altogether. We recently made a video about why animals on Pandora have six limbs, and a watcher asked the question, which is a really good question at that, why the Banshees don't have six limbs. Other flying animals, especially the Leonoptrix, have six limbs, so why is it that the Banshee only has four? I first want to take the time to say thank you so much for all of our supporters, our watchers on this channel, as well as our patrons, Adam, Alessandro, Garcia, and Robert the Dude. Your support really makes the time that we take out to do this much easier. For all of you who comment, no matter what it is you say, thank you so much for taking the time out to come over and watch our videos. Now, on to why the Banshees only have four limbs. So we recently did a video explaining why animals mostly have six limbs on Pandora, and it's that they probably had a common ancestor that had six limbs. So the Banshee having four doesn't really mean that it had an ancestor that had four limbs, because there are even animals on our Earth or our planet that have no limbs, and they shared a common ancestor as well. We'll get into the science of things. This is so fun. But if you look at Jake's banshee, Ikran, you can see clearly that he has four limbs, but he also has what appears to be a bulbous protrusion near the base of his tail and that probably could be proof of vestigial legs. Now I've taken a snippet, but look very carefully near the base of the tail. You can see this line here that appears to be what looks like vestigial legs or an apparatus. And no, that is not as phallus because it's on either side of the tail. Also consider the position of them. Now, look at the Leonoptrix. If you've noticed before, the Banshee's secondary limbs are near the back of his body, and they're very similar to the second pair on the Leonoptrix. Take your time and look at the both of them again. Look at the second pair of limbs on the Leonoptrix, right below the main pair. Now look at the Banshees. They're both flimsy-looking appendages. The only difference is that the Leonoptrix has those muscular, large theropod-like legs, and the Banshee does not. So what does all of this mean? Well, it is completely possible that the Banshees on Pandora lost their hind legs, just like many animals on Earth have also lost their limbs due to niches that they had to fill in the ecosystem, or based on specific habitats in which they had to live. Even though it's harder to run on Pandora due to the air resistance, it's also equally facilitated for animals to fly on Pandora. Because the air is so dense, flying on Pandora is essentially like swimming. The Banshee probably evolved to have less limbs because moving in the air is the same as moving in the water on Pandora. Besides, for an animal that is hunted by something like the Leonoptrix, it would have to be more aerodynamic. Now you may be saying that the air resistance is more, so wouldn't it need more limbs to move easier in the air? Six limbs are only really necessary on land to move against the air resistance when something is landbound. Just consider Earth as an example. Most land animals on Earth at least vertebrates, have four legs, but in the water, you'll notice that a lot of animals only have pectoral fins and tails. They don't need four legs to move in the water. Why is this? Because of the way propulsion works. Moving through the water or a very thick substance is not the same as moving on land, and animals that are landbound do not have wings. In a sense, it would have made sense for all the animals on land to evolve these fin-like apparatuses to help them propel through the air. But that's not the case. They primarily depend upon their legs to pull them forward. However, for an aerial animal or a water animal, it's completely different. Their body plans are all about being streamlined so they can cut easily through this viscous substance. And for animals that spend the majority of their time completely mobilizing through a dense substance all around, they need to reduce drag. The ancestors of whales had four legs, and those ancestors lived on land. However, when whales returned to the sea, they no longer needed their hind legs, and so they lost them. If you look at the skeletons of whales, you'll see that they have vestigial legs, but they're always their hind legs. That's because the only thing whales and sharks and fish need in the water to move around is lift and propulsion. Fish or whales essentially flap with their pectoral fins and move themselves or push themselves forward through the water with their tail. And since the air 
on Pandora is 20% denser than that of Earth, flying on that planet is essentially swimming. That's also why if you take a closer look at the Leonoptrix, you'll notice that he too is in the process of losing those legs. Having that second pair just creates a lot of drag and it's not really necessary. Now the other question that arises from that is then why does he keep those large legs underneath? Just consider the role that Leonoptrix plays. Limbs and body plans are formed on animals based on the roles that they play in ecology. This creature is an apex predator. They've even said it in the movie that nothing hunts him and everything that he hunts, he always attacks from above. Also, look at the way that he attacked the Banshees. Just like a hawk, he extends his very powerful legs to grab whatever he's hunting from not only out of the sky, but from on the land as well. And if he's going to lift up something from on land to carry away to some place where he can eat it, he has to have powerful legs to do that. His role in the ecosystem forced him to keep his legs, but he doesn't necessarily need those second pair of wings. If there are no environmental pressures for something to lose its body parts, they don't. However, since the Banshees are hunted by things like Leonoptrix, it forced them to have to be more aerodynamic or streamlined to cut through the air a lot easier. While it's easier to fly because of the atmosphere density, they may not be able to fly as fast as they'd like because of the extra drag with having a second pair of limbs. So to answer the question, the Banshee most likely started off with six limbs, just like most of the other Avatar creatures. But they had to adapt to become faster to maybe hunt their prey and to avoid predators like the Leonoptrix. So when we look at Banshees, we're actually looking at a legless animal that just has wings and a tail. We hope this answered your question, and thank you for the watcher who submitted it. This has been Altiori. You ask, we answer.